What's up guys? I'm gonna take you through the intake being plumbed into the cab because I've had a few questions on it. So uh, might as well walk you through how I did it. For starters, this is just the stock air tubes that I cut the little ties that hold them together and would go to the factory air box. Yeah, I just took that off um, and did that. Now I got those zip ties right there to prevent that from collapsing. This got really hot um, in here over the summer. Well, not this summer, but a summer. Um, and we had it out in a mud bog and cooked the last motor that was in it like 280 degrees. It was ridiculous, but that got weak. I could solve that by just getting another one, but I just, there's a spring inside that and I put clamps on it so it can't collapse. So, or, or uh, zip ties. But, just went down to Home Depot and got a straight piece of two and a half inch. And then, um, that splitter there, a Y, whatever you'd like to call it. And then this this is all just to fit two and a half inch. It's coupled, you know. Um, and then, oh, that's a that's a forty five, right there. Um, and then there's a straight piece there that goes into the cab. Now I don't have a radio. I never have. This thing's wiring is garbage. So there was never a radio in it, and I'm not putting one in there because there's the wires are <laughs> there ain't none. So anyway, it's ran into the cab, and I just got a basic cone filter from AutoZone because I'm cheap and who cares it's not getting hardly nothing anyway because it's inside um, and then you have to get a little adapter to go from two and a half to three inch to fit this style of filter but I also I ran the stock air box in here for a long time I, I just flipped it upside down Yeah, this is what it sounds like. This is a load of barnacles. It's a little loud in the cab, you know. If um, if that bothers you, obviously you wouldn't want to do this. Or it was much quieter with the stock air box in here. It looks kind of goofy, but guess so does this but uh I'll tell you one thing I don't have a problem with is mud or water or even a dusty filter I mean this thing stays clean all the time so that is nice and I run a bluetooth speaker in here when we're out on the trails anyway so I don't care that there's no radio but hey, I'll give it a couple rubs sounds like it needs a distributor cap or something she's missing pretty good but I gotta hold the shifter because this thing will pop into reverse. It sounds pretty neat, I'm not gonna lie. That uh, coming through that pipe and then into this cone filter, it really, it really uh, accentuates the intake sound, that's for sure. All right guys, if you like that, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, the things and the stuff um if you want to see anything else give me ideas tell me stuff if not you'll catch this thing on the trails in the next video um which is going to be hopefully soon for trails that is I'm, i'll have videos out but it won't be trails until we can make some time um anyway yeah thanks for watching